The Spanish and the French saw Morocco as a source of raw materials, cheap manpower and unobstructed markets. The rich mineral deposits of the reef mountains were of particular interest to the Spanish. However, the roughness of the terrain and the lack of roads meant that the exploitation of the region was difficult for the Spanish. Therefore, in order to exploit the reef region, the Spanish established relationships with tribal leaders. Initially, the Spanish and the French were welcomed by many Berber and Arab tribes in Morocco due to their false promises and plans of modernizing and improving the economic conditions of the region. However, soon it became clear that the Spanish and French were extremely repressive and brutal and that they had come to Morocco to exploit and enslave. The Spanish began to impose extremely high taxes on the locals and used violence against people who refused to pay. It was not long before the people of Morocco would fight back against the Spanish oppressors. The greatest resistance to the Spanish invaders came from Abdul Karim al Khattabi. Abdul Karim al Khattabi was the son of an influential Berber tribal leader and was also a chief judge and journalist. Abdul Karim criticized the French and the Spanish by writing articles in which he called on the colonial powers to stop applying unfair practices to his people. Abdul Karim also argued that no economic progress was achieved since the arrival of the Spanish and the French. However, the Spanish and the French continued to oppress the people and it became clear that there could be no diplomatic solution. Therefore, Abdul Karim al Khattabi began an armed rebellion against the Spanish and the French. Abdul Karim was a charismatic leader and an impressive speaker and managed to gain widespread support. He soon began to gather an army and he managed to unite various tribes, ethnicities and religious groups in Morocco, including Berbers, Arabs, Muslims and Jews. In April 1921, 50 tribal and religious leaders pledged allegiance to Abdul Karim and declared him their military leader. Initially, Al Qattabi and his army defeated the Spanish in the famous Battle of Anwal in 1921, when he conducted a series of surprise attacks in which 10,000 Spanish soldiers were killed. These victories encouraged more and more men to join Abdul Karim's army. Moroccan Jews also contributed to Abdul Karim's cause by helping his army manufacture explosives. This was a process which included taking undetonated bombs dropped by Spanish planes and refitting them for artillery. Eventually, the Spanish had to give up one post after another, securing even more influence to Abdul Karim's forces. Abdul Karim's forces were so successful against the Spanish that they were able to declare an independent state which was independent from both Spain and from the Sultan in French Morocco.
Abdul Karim established a state and governing institutions which collected taxes, enforced laws and organized an army. The Republic of the Reef would last until 1926 when Abdul Karim and his army were defeated at the hands of a coalition of French and Spanish armies following the bombing of defenseless populations with toxic gas. Facing such intense and ruthless aggression that murdered hundreds of civilians, Al Khattabi surrendered to the French army in 1926 and was soon after sent to exile in France. Later on, Abdul Karim was granted asylum in Cairo, where he later played a critical role in the development of Moroccan nationalist agitation by working with Egyptian Arab nationalists. In 1948, Abdul Karim al Khattabi founded the Committee for the Liberation of the Arab Maghrib. After the restoration of Moroccan independence, King Muhammad V invited him to return to Morocco, which he refused to do as long as French troops remained in North African soil. In 